here we go, key steps. Again, I'm just going to touch upon these, uh, but we're going to dig a little deeper uh, in just a moment. So we've got the round the world there, five stages. I'm going to start at the very top assessment strategy and then go clockwise. So the first thing I want to do, y you have to know where you are before you, well, in my opinion, where you are before you know where you're going. Sounds like some popular phrase out there. Um, you you got to know what my current state is. So in business analysis speak, we call it, uh, well, they call it many different things. One is the as-is process, and then you have the to-be. Right? What's my current state? Where do I want to be? So you got to go through some sort of an assessment uh, phase, do some analysis, interviewing of folks, and, and, and see where we're currently at in terms of you know, either not having a PMO at all, or maybe we have one, but it's, you know, there's, there's some room to kind of bump it up a few notches there. And then you go into the strategy, which is where you, you kind of do a, a gap analysis and you decide, okay, you know, this is where we are, this is where we need to be, these are the kind of things where we need to fill in the blanks in the middle. Uh, after that, we can go into the PMO initiation phase. So just like any project, you want to create a charter. We got We have to, let's treat this like a real project and all the elements that go along with that. We get sponsorship, we get a charter, uh, we have a roadmap, we decide what we want uh, the, the scope to be, etc more about that later. We actually go into the next phase, which is to set up the PMO and then develop it, develop it a bit. So that would be things like we get a physical place for the project management office, right? You know, you want, you want your project, well, most people want their project managers to kind of be together. Others might want to embed them in different business units. That's your choice. But either way, you do need a physical space for some element of the, of the project management office. Um, you get some headcount around that, you design the future processes, and you actually uh, go ahead and, and create the backbone of this PMO. The staged implementation or implementing the PMO itself, that's where we're going to actually, we, we should get into a pilot stage. So again, think about it as like a, you're rolling out some major new technology, let's say, to the organization. You might want to take more of a pilot approach to it. You want to communicate. Um, aspects of this rollout. You want to do some testing, have room for uh, feedback. So just like a project, staged implementation is uh, one recommended way to go. And finally, continuous improvement. So again, really any project, and especially a PMO project, should have continuous improvement. There's always going to be feedback. Um, there's always ways that you can take it to the next level. You can evolve and mature uh, your project management office, the, the, the people aspect, the process aspect, all of that together. 